Hello, it's me, Mildred, and today I'm here with my latest art journal page that I made last night. Um, I wanted to tell you uh, how I came up with it page. Um, well, I wanted to use my rain uh, drop stencil, so I searched on Google uh, a quote with rain in it. And the quote is, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, it's about how to dance in the rain. So I really liked it. Then I uh, went online again and searched for an image. Uh, from someone who was dancing in the rain, so I really like that. Uh, then I gessoed the page, and then I used different kinds of uh, distress paints. I used chipped sapphire, and I used broken china, and I also used crushed olive and forest oops, moss. I didn't like the way it turned out. I don't like the bottom, but yeah, I couldn't uh, change it anymore. At least I couldn't. <laughs> and then I um, uh, made this sunburst. I wanted to have that, uh, uh, um, you know, that the clouds are in, uh, in the front and then this is behind the clouds. And I used whipped speckle and I also used my Faber Castell and I used lemon. And I also used buttercream. Oh, like this. And then I mix it up with a whip speckle and then I just uh, put it on, uh, down here. I like that piece. And then I used a cloud stencil that I had and used again my whip speckle. But as you can see, the clouds didn't turn out the way I really wanted it. But yeah, I have to learn a lot about, uh, I have to practice this more, these stenciling uh, things. But yeah. Then I used, um, let's grab it, this for the raindrops, texture sand paste, because it's a little bit grayish and I wanted that for the rain. And But I again, I had some trouble putting it between the clouds because um, I couldn't get the stencil flat enough. So then the, the texture paste uh, comes underneath the stencil and it's smeared. So it doesn't look again like raindrops. So I left that the way it is. I could clean it up when it's wet and left that the way it is. And then I adhered my quote. And the picture I adhered also with Multimap Medium. And then I stamped the date. It was 11 January, January 11, 2016. And today it is the 3rd. No? What it is today? Yes, it's the 13th. January the 13th. So I made it uh, Monday. And... Yeah, I liked the the thoughts behind it, but I do have to practice how to get it more like it was in my head, I guess. But um, yeah, I still um, think it's a nice page, and I put some uh, wax paper between it because I my pages sometimes are really they stay sticky, so I used it between and it worked really well. So I want to thank you all for watching. Bye.